All right, so I want to really quickly make show you how to make this um, little inset window for the curtain wall so it's just sitting in there. It's pretty easy. Um, I'm just going to go to File, New, Family, and you're going to use an English Imperial and the curtain wall panel, right? And I'm going to click Open. And it's really simple. Um, it has, we're looking at the top down, so this is the center of the curtain wall. And then if we go to the exterior view over here, this is the, so this is basically the outside of the panel. And as long as we glue things to the, these reference planes, everything will be well. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go to the extrusion and I'm going to draw a rectangle that's going to represent the outside of our frame. And I'm not going to touch the, the, um, the reference lines. And then I'm going to draw another rectangle that's going to cut a hole. And I'm also not going to pay a little bit. And then I'm going to hit, uh, pay attention to where it is. And I'm going to hit check and it's going to, if I go to shaded here, you'll see that it's made this guy. So now what I want to do is I want to lock these guys outside to these reference planes. Because again, these reference planes represent the panel. So the inside of the mullions, like Revit knows where that is. So as long as these things are locked to those, it will sit on the um, inside of the mullion. And now I want to control how big the frame is. So I'm going to go to annotate and align. And I'm going to go from the reference plane to the inside of the extrusion. So for each one of these reference planes, just come in and make sure that each one has, oops, that's a double. Don't need both of those. So I got that one. I need this one, All right? Annotate all lines. I need this one. Okay, and then I'm just going to use the control, hold down the control key and multiple select all of these guys. And I'm going to put a new parameter on them. So that's going to make it me able to control how big it is. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to type frame width, right? And hit enter. And you'll see they'll all go to the same size. And then up in your family types dialog box, you can click on it. And I'm just going to set this to four inches. Okay and click OK. So you can see that that's controlling that. And then um, the next thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to control the thickness. So if I go back to the floor plan reference level, you can see that it's extruded this guy, but it's extruded a foot in that direction. And I want it to kind of grow from the center of the curtain wall. So I'm just picking it and pulling it out. And then I'm going to come in and create an annotation that centers this around this reference plane. So I'm going to click one, two, three, and then click on nothing and then select the equals and it'll equal it out. And then I'm going to select the outside. So now when I tell it how big it is, it knows to grow from the center. So I'm going to pick that dimension that I just made and I'm going to make a new parameter and I'll call it frame thickness. Okay. And so I can go in and control that. So we'll just make that six inches. All right. All right, so now we have a frame. Now I want to put the glass in, so I'm going to go back to the exterior and do the same process. I'm going to create an extrusion, do a rectangle, and I'm just going to do it to the sort of inside of here and hit the big green check. And I'm going to lock it to the face of the frame. I don't tend to lock a lot of geometry to geometry. Um, this is a really simple application, so I feel pretty comfortable that it will be fine. But you can sometimes get into get into trouble um, doing that, but, you know, I'm going to do it. So there's that. So now that extrusion is locked to that, and I'll do the same thing. Go to my floor plane reference level, pick this guy, pull it out, go to the annotate aligned, and um, one, two, three. Let me go pull this one over here, equal, and then overall, and this will be the glass thickness, which is thicker than the frame right now, but we'll fix it in a minute. Pick that dimension, click on new, and we'll say glass thickness. Okay. And then um, I'll go ahead and update that glass thickness from two feet to quarter inch. Okay. So now if I go to my 3D view, I've got this guy. And I'm just going to pick the frame form and I'm going to put a material parameter on it. So I'll click on this little gray box and go to new and this will be frame frame map. 
Okay, so prime material, it's a container for the material. It's actually just giving us access to that material. And I'm going to do the same thing for the glazing. So new, and uh, I'll just call it panel material because you don't know if it's going to be glass or not. Could be something else at a different time. And then um, I'll go to my family types dialog box here and I'll just go ahead and set the basic frame material, maybe some steel. So I'll just pick metal and click OK. And then for the panel, we'll start with glass. And there's a glass in here. So I'll click OK, click OK. And if I go to shaded, you'll see that I've got that guy. And so I'll save this. And I'll just save over this one. Oops. Because it won't, because it's open already in another window, probably. So let's see, what's this? Yeah, let's close that. And then I'll go to save again. And I'll save over this one. I don't certainly don't need three. And then I'll load this into project. So I'm loading it into panels. And yours would not say override existing version. It would just not have any dialog box. Um, I'll just click override existing version and I don't need to save this. Well, I guess I'll save it. And so now you have the window as an option. I have this window, which is the fixed one. And then I brought that fixed two in. And now what you can do is once you've brought that in, if I tab select in and get the panel, I can, depending on if I need to, I can unpin it. And I can just go to my pull down here. And if I scroll down, I will have that fixed two panel, right? And it will plop that guy in there. And then I can go in and sort of tab select it. And if I go to edit type, it gives me all of the parameters and I can update those and make new types and that kind of thing. Okay. All right. So that's it. Um, I'll talk to you later.